welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new episode of My Damn Hauls, man. Been a minute since our last episode, man. Been like four months or something like that. Absolutely ridiculous. Nonetheless, we're on episode 89, I think. You know, slowly crawling our way up to the 100 mark, which should be an, a, an epic extravaganza here on the channel. But today we have three packages here, which I'm very excited for. One I did not expect, but I'm very excited for, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will be excited for it as well once we get to that point. But we have a package here from a store that I need to promote. We have a package here from a store that I always promote, which would be Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% and go get in on the Cyber Monday 3.0 sale, man. Unbelievable deals right now. Just just an absurd and asinine amount of figures for just like one-fifth of retail price. Like Just absolutely insane deals you can get over there. I mean, I'm talking top picks, Rey Mysterio $5.99. Jeff Hardy Elite Top Talent $5.99. Ringside Exclusive WCW Tag Team Champion Undertaker $7.99. So definitely get on on that, man. But this package here comes from the Paul Mart store, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Paul Mart, not Walmart, Paul Mart. And they have great deals on WWE Elites all the time. And we're going to crack this one open first because it is a set that I have been trying to get my damn hands on forever. And I'm just going to move this package out of the way because it's really getting on my nerves. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's better. That's better. We got a little bit more room here. Speaking of which, could be moving houses soon. Very excited about that potentially. Nonetheless, we have our package here. This comes from Paul Mart store and they had a just ridiculous deal going on similar to Ringside Collectibles where I could get three exclusives for a ridiculous price and I decided to pull the trigger on it and they had ridiculously fast shipping. I'm pretty sure I ordered this on Saturday and I got it on Monday. So that just kind of gives you the heads up there but let's shut the hell up and crack this big old box open and the only way we crack boxes open in my damn halls is with... The trusty knife. What the hell was that? What the hell is even that? Bullshit. So we're gonna get on this side. I honestly, you know what, man? Nah, the trusty knife's gotta make it through 100 episodes. I was gonna say, maybe it's time for him to hang it up, but nah. I mean, he is dull and beat as hell, but he's gotta make it to episode 100. He's got, at least gotta make it 100 episodes, and then maybe we can retire him, hang him on the wall in all his glory, engrave trusty knife on him, and just give him a Hall of Fame bout, but get the, get the slit down the middle, open up said package, and what in the hell? Okay, so it's... They, they literally shipped it in a shipper. So as you guys can see here, I have the shipper. WWE Ruthless Aggression Elite Collection Action Figure Assortment. And you guys already know. Now you guys already know that I do have Series 1. So what do you guys think is in here? This is going to be a set that we definitely do a full in-depth review on. Like I cannot not. Like this is probably my favorite waves or series that Mattel has going right now. And I have a weird angle right here. All these god dang lights. Got that. Swinging door here, swinging door there. I'm hoping these come to my Walmart now. Initially, I was going to get a set mint on card and a set loose, but I've only found these once. Not these specifically, but Series 1 featuring Brock Lesnar, Batiste, and Shawn Michaels. But we have RVD right here, absolutely beautiful. White Rey Mysterio, which is just a gorgeous looking figure. My God, dude, this line is sick as hell. I gotta have mint on card versions of all these figures, man. And then we have the beautiful... Booker T in the white jogging pants. Now get this box the hell out of my face. And here's our full weight. Booker T, Rey Mysterio, and Rob Van Dam in all their glory. Holy hell, man. Just beautiful. Now, I don't know what happened to my WrestleMania, I think, what was it, 36, I think? That wave we got a few years back that hit big lots. I don't know what the hell happened to my Booker T. Maybe when I move, I'll find it in a box somewhere or something, but I couldn't find it. But here's Booker T, Rey Mysterio, Rob Van Dam. We are going to do full in-depth reviews of all of these guys, but I am I'm just over the moon for this set. I you just God in heaven. Now we'll have more RVDs in the collection, which is what we always want. Actually, speaking of which, is he on that? Is he on that Cyber Monday sale? I don't think he is. Nonetheless, we're moving on to our next package. And for my next package, I really don't even want to put this on screen, just because this box is massive. Like these priority mail shippers, Jesus. However, I'm pretty sure this has a ringside exclusive in it, and I'm on the fence on if I'm going to do a full in-depth review of this figure. Damn these boxes, Jesus in heaven. Man. 
get the packing paper out and then slide it down and you guys will see we have the blood and guts thunder rosa now i do believe this is our third thunder rosa we're getting we have the supreme collection coming soon but this is kind of a repaint bloodied up version of our series 9 thunder rosa that we got in unrivaled series 9 so you guys can see here here's the comparison face paint is flipped you got a really cool like dragon style gear going on right here with the scales and stuff with the tr i don't know i may just leave this mint on card i think i might just leave this mint on card you know go in the blood and guts collection very nice pristine condition right here but if you guys would like to grab this thunder rosa go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys i don't know i might do a full in-depth review i'll have to see about that but figures looking pretty good right here i like the interchangeability you get the you get the flag back there interchangeable hands pretty nice looking mint on card figure too i love the blood and guts packaging we always get but there is those two packages and a little thunder rosa figure right here can just chill and now for the last package which this comes from my man dan turnquist on instagram i'll put his handle up there if you guys didn't know he's a custom belt maker so we have some custom belts in here and I'm very excited for these. And I don't even know what all he sent. Like, he didn't really communicate with me. He didn't really communicate with me that he was sending anything. So, my God in heaven. Dude, look at all this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Dude, these title belts look gorgeous. Holy shish. Look at the details. We gotta get these out here. So, huge shout out to Dan, man. Oh my God. It's turnquist underscore fig underscore belts. We'll get into the MDT pick fed belts last. Like, you guys will see, sent a bunch of copies over here. So we'll get into these last. Oh, my God, dude. Those are beautiful. I might have to... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to have to do for that. That... Uh, oh, my God, at the detail. Nonetheless, it looks like he sent us over the Ring of Honor World Championship right here. And again, dude, I got to get these out of the packaging. But we also have the AEW World Trios Championships. And then we have the gold version of the TNT title, which... Oh, my Lord in heaven. I apologize for all... All of the stuff, man, but these are looking immaculate, and I bet they feel immaculate in the hand. But if you guys are wanting custom belt work, Jesus. Tell him that MDT sent you. Maybe in the future we can get a code set up. I can't get them out of the god dang plastic paper. Alright guys, so here's the TNT Championship. So you guys can see the side plates. Like, this is all sculpted on there, and I do believe these are like 3D printed and painted. And it gets all the details in there. I mean, this championship looks immaculate. It also has the Velcro on here. So, you know, you can stick that together right there. And look at that right there. Just, oh, the gold buckles. Oh my god. I, I mean, dude, it looks immaculate. These, these look incredible. They really do. They really bring the collection all together, I think. And I'm, yeah, I mean, this is way before Jazzwares, and this is actually good size. This is way better size in comparison to the Jazzwares Championships. Here's the Ring of Honor World Championship. Very clean, man. Look at these colors and the leather strap. Very nice. You got the Ring of Honor up there. I mean, these are very heavily detailed, man. I don't know how he does it, but they look epic, just fantastic. And then before we get into the MDT Championships, here is the World Trios Championships, and all all three of these look good as well. Again, all of this is sculpted in. All the logos are in here. Very clean. The leather looks clean. I mean, you really can't ask for much else, man. These are going to really complete your displays and your setups, and you can even get them to make custom pick-fed belts. So, I mean, that, that puts it over the top for me. These are beautiful. So, for the pick-fed championships, or the MDT championships right here for the pick-fed, man, this is going to give us so many more details. Like, these championships, the original versions of the MDT championships are actually very, very old. And so this gives us, it looks like all three of these are painted the exact same here. But it looks like some of them came out cleaner than others. So you guys can see the sculpted MDT there on the side plates. And then you have the Elite Champion in the middle. Those are all the actual logos actually sculpted in there. The paint works is nice. Very quality looking. My favorite detail though has to come right here on the buckle. You guys can see little hairs. Got to get those out of there. But look at the little buckle detail right there with the MDT on it. Look how money clean that is, dude. That is so impressive and if we get a side-by-side -side comparison of both championships here here is the official one or the top one the, the first version and then here is the brand new version again a lot more authentic looking you know blue is probably more accurate to the vindication color gives it a little bit more depth instead of just su super sculpted on there but it looks very clean man and you're not getting that level of detail on the top version there so the last little test would have to be putting this thing on kenny omega and i may do i don't know i 
I may put these up on eBay or or do something with these. I don't know, or I'll make a display because I've I've never had multiple copies of the Elite Championship, and now I have like four, so I may have to do that. But might as well put the nine-year reign of Kenny Omega here with the Elite Championship and just see what this looks like right here. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty damn good, Brad. Pretty damn good. Looks very official. You know, I'll always hold a soft spot for the Elite Championship. I've always thought it was a quality look. I thought it was always a quality championship, but seeing this version on Kenny is, is really looking good here. But yeah, Elite Championship looks good. Now we have to go to the MDT Championship, and I know that we made a few different versions here, or, or Dan made a few different versions here. I mean, these have been in the works for a few months now, and I do believe we're, we're looking to get the side championships or the mid-card championships done as well. So here's two different versions. You have like these thicker stripes right here, like the thicker zebra stripes and the thicker strap, and then you can compare it to the thinner stripes, which is probably more accurate, but I can't find the OG MDT championship. I guess it fell on the floor or something. I can't effing find it, but this looks super clean. I'm still in the process of getting an official MDT championship made like full-scale replica metal plated, but let's get in here and look at the details. So the MDT logos, all these colors, all like the side plates, all this stuff stuff is completely 3D printed on. You got the MDT champion like the actual WWE championship, but it says MDT with the logo. You got the world logo in there, and then you have the MDT in the middle with the stripes, which is on the old version of the championship. It was sculpted in there. This is the actual MDT logo rather than just having, you know, an MDT sculpted in there, but it's got champ on there. You have the MDT live actual logo 3D printed onto the side plate there, and then on the other side, you do have the MDT again in the pink and blue, and then again, that beautiful clip at the end that looks looks so good. Just so clean, man. Oh my lord. Of course, you gotta get it in there, but that is a ton of detail. And if we back this thing up, so again, you have so you, I, again, he gave us like three different strap options for this, as you guys can see there. But maybe if some will go in the crowd, maybe one will go on display, or again, maybe I'll sell one to somebody out there. Maybe that could, you know, you get first dibs on Patreon, maybe, if I can get that thing up and running. But here's the Tribal Chief with the MDT Championship, and that looks hella fantastic, man. You just get in here and look at the champ. MDT title looking great. Stripes look good. I mean, Dan did a fantastic job on these belts, man. Go give him a follow on Instagram. Truly unbelievable. Lots of details over there, but I think that pretty much wraps up this episode of My Damn Halls. Let me know what you guys think of the championships, man. I think they're really clean. I think they turned out immaculate. I gotta find the OG version of the MDT championship, though. That's sentimental there, but... We also have all these damn main plates right here from all the, I guess, the test runs. Just all side plates and main plates, but that's going to wrap up the My Damn Halls episode, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on everything we grabbed down in the comment section below, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a blessed one. You cross